my player Sean's last turn here on our server, so we had to kill this hag and we decided to blow that girl up, which created a hole directly to the surface, escaping out of the abyss. And using some magic tools we had, we tried to propel Sean to his freedom, but he said crashed to his death. He did create a setting for my animation, so I used Incarnate's tools in order to do so. I made a 2D setting, which you're going to watch me create in just a second here, and then I imported that into Adobe's character animator to create a final product. You can check that out by clicking the box in the top right corner right now. This is a Matt Monday, so we're going to go over how I made the setting using Incarnate's tools. I passed away next to a river and a bridge, so I decided to make it look a little bit fancier. Uh, this is me experimenting with the hue tool that Incarnate has for the first time. It really is a game changer. It's one of my favorite features they've ever added because you can use the same stamps but give off a completely different ambiance and look to things. Now this only green grass can be turned into purple, yellow, or other fun colors making any wildlife you could ever imagine. Uh, he crashed right down the center so again you want to keep your opacities with blood very light, 20 to 40. Uh, you only want to use full opacities when you're trying to like make a canvas art style thing on the ground. Uh, so after we got some fauna, some mushrooms, we put some tall ones in there to mimic trees, make the whole thing of Peninsula give it more of a fun, watery vibe. Then just fill in the background a little bit more. I should have probably used a brush texture to make that fill in just a bit nicer, but I think uh, with the overkill of plants, it worked just fine. Plus we used a cool overlay at the end, which made everything feel a lot more like magical and shroomy like it's supposed to. And then I realized one of my players was inside a hut, so I had to make one really quick. Uh, gave it an appropriate color, put all the fauna around it just like I needed, made a path directly to it. Again, using opacity of 40%. And then in order to give it a rooftop, I wanted to make it look very natural, so I took a tree, flipped it upside down, made the colors somewhat match, and then boom! At that angle, it just looks like a leafy roof to a stone hut, which is perfect. Added a few easter eggs here and there. So with all this done, I was ready to go to make my animation. And boom! With the overlay, you've got this very cool, somber looking moment, but it's still got plenty of color popping in the right spots. I let all my players be visible at different times, and it was just... God! worked out just great so this was uh, a little different than a normal map obviously for D&D but hey it's nice to know that incarnate can be used for different things and different tools so that you know it's just more in your wheelhouse more to work with so thank you guys so much for watching this one uh, the next one's going to be an actual map uh, and also the algorithm demands that I ask you to like and subscribe so I'm manipulating your brains to do that like subscribe do it also bells are great